okay so today let's see the both actually i have given some homework so let's say uh, the both yeah. directions so if it is a basically if it is a number a decimal number uh, and if you want to convert that to binary what you do actually you have to continuously divide that number by the base so if our intention is to convert binary then you can divide by 2 so and uh, don't write the decimal points so instead of writing decimal points you have to write the whole number for an example uh, 2 uh, 75 divided by 2 if you divide 75 by 2 it is 37.5 but you are not going to write 37.5 right you write the whole part only 37 and what remains without dividing is 1 actually intention of this division is to get all ones and zeros that is the intention if nothing mm -hmm. remains zero if something remained it's one it should be one no? so it cannot like uh, two remain is not possible because you are dividing by two then the balance is two it will not happen because it can also divide by two so anyway if you divide a number so this is another thing so if number is odd so you it will remain one here 37 is odd so balance will be one but 18 is even if even number is divided then it is zero this is odd then it's one this is even then zero this is even it's zero so understood yes right okay so then you have to continuously divide by two and then you have to take from the this digit to up you are writing from here to up hmm? so it is one zero zero one zero one one in uh that is in binary so you can other you can convert this other side also by uh so what is the positional value of this what is the position positional value of this one two to the power two to the that one yeah that one the highlighted one two to the power zero uh, no? two to the power zero yeah zero two to the power zero means once <laughs> then the next is uh next is two to the power one which is two one. And uh, we, next is that also the homework you gave. Yeah. Uh, I so then that, uh, but... this one is two to the power two, which is four. You don't have fours because it's zero. Here two to the power three, it's eight. And then. So that zero one will come no? Where? Oh, no no multiply by zero no. Okay. So here two to the power four, uh, four, 16, no six, 16. Here two to the power uh, five, 32, you don't have. Here two to the power, uh, two to the power six means 64. So let's add the numbers. 64 plus 80 is uh, altogether it's 72. 72 plus two is uh, 74. 74 plus one is 75. And you can regenerate the number. Yeah. So we have done both ways now, right? Now we know how to convert decimal to binary and binary to decimal. So decimal to binary conversion is done by dividing. Binary to decimal conversion is done by uh, finding the positional value and adding them. Right? Okay. okay. So this is same for other number systems. We learned that. This is similar for other number systems. For an example, take octal. So if you want to convert 75 to octal, you divide by 8. Mm. And then you have 9 there. So 75 divided by 8 is 9, that is 72. So remaining is 3. Then 9 divided by 8 is 1, remaining 1. That is 1, 1, 3 in octal. In the other hand, so you can reverse this. How you can reverse this? So what is the number? This digit value, 8 to the power? 0. 0 means 1. So 1 into 3 is 3. Then uh, 8 to the power 1 is 8. 8. 8 into 1 is 8. Then 8 to the power 2 is 8 into 8, which is uh, 8 to the power 2 is 64. 64. Then this is 64. So then you add in, you have to add 64. 64 plus 8 is 72 plus 3 is 75. Okay, mm -hmm. this is how you deconvert the number which you have converted to the octal. Hexadecimal again the same. So same theory. Hexadecimal again the same. So you have to divide by 16. So if you divide by 16, you can get the hexadecimal number. That is now uh, 4 remain in 11. 11 is B, so it's 4B. 4 remain in 11, so it's 4B. Right, here 4 remain in 11. 4 remain in 11 means 4B. 11 is B. So in the other hand, 
So you can convert 11 into 16 to the power 0. 16 to the power 0 is 1. 1 into 11 is 11. Then 16 to the power 1 is 16. 16 into 4 is 16 into 4 is 64. 64 plus uh, 11 is 75. 75. Okay. So now you know the uh, both directions, right? So yeah. then, right, you can convert. So likewise, you can convert any number. And uh, so you know the methodology, but only thing is uh, I said that so we have to learn about uh, decimals. decimals. Yes, we have to learn about decimals too, right? Okay. Uh, for an example, let me discuss an example. Then, so you will understand what to do. So small example. Uh, so let's say we have something like 50, um, 52 point uh, 8, uh, You are asked to convert this number to, this is in decimal and you are asked to convert this number to, uh, binary. Right. So, what you have to do first? Convert uh, into binary. You have to divide by two. two. So, binary conversion is done by dividing by two. But so remember that you have to do this. You have to convert this part only. Don't convert this part. So, keep it as it is and divide this to one. Okay. Then tell me the answer. Fifty-two divided by two. Yes. What is the answer and what is the remainder? 52 yeah, divided by 2. Zero. 26, zero. Yeah, remain is 0. What is the answer? 26. 26, yeah, 26. And remaining will be 0. And again, yeah. let's divide 26. Uh, 26, you know. 26 divided by 2, yeah. 13. And again, the Three. remainder will be 0. Ten, 13 divided by 2 is, uh, yes, 6. 6 and 1. And remaining is yes one one and uh, then six three uh, divided by two is uh, three and six. remainder is zero zero then three divided by two is uh, one and remainder is uh, also one right so then you have to take from the bottom to top. And when you take bottom to top, so what is the binary value? So it is one zero one zero zero. Oh oh oh! You have to take one one. Yeah. It's one one zero zero one, one zero. double zero. There is a binary number, but this is the uh, integer part. So there's another mechanism to convert the decimal part. Decimal part, what you do? You take the point eight seven five, and so this is opposite. Then multiply by two. So what is the value? 0.875 mm. multiply by 2. What is the value? Yes, multiply and tell me. 1.75. 1.5. Can we use calculator in the exam for ICT? No, no. <laughs> 1.5 1.75. 1. 1. 1. 1.75. Yeah, 1.75. So these are some small things, right? right? Don't don't worry, you will not get that mm -hmm. calculation. So 1.75. Then you have to multiply that by two, but only multiply multiply the 0.75, right? Don't multiply one, only some 0.75. Only the point part you are going to multiply. I'll highlight it in a yellow color. Only this part you have to multiply. Don't multiply the integer part. Okay. Right, what is the 0.75 multiplication after multiplication you'll get? 1.5. Then you have to multiply 1.5 again. So point, 0.5 by two. One. It's one, one point zero. So when this becomes zero, you have to stop. When this becomes zero, you have to stop. And then you have to take from here, you took this way, no? So the yeah. other one, you took, you, you have to take the other way. That means you, are, you have to take from top to bottom. Right, yeah. then, you know, it's one, one, one anyway. Bottom to top also one, one, one. Top to bottom also one, one, one. So answer will be this one dot, one 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 is the answer. So then now you can see. One. Sorry, this zero one comes. Yeah, if you want, uh, you can put zero. That doesn't matter. The zero, yeah, zero uh, in the decimals. You even you put like yeah. thousand zeros doesn't matter. It will not change the value, no. Yeah. So if you put any uh, number of zeros in the beginning, still it will not change the value. So mm. those are those you can ignore. So beginning zeros uh, to the whole number. Oh, padding zero to the uh, decimal number, 
it doesn't matter it doesn't change the value yep right so if you want you can put zero if you want you can ignore so anything right anything like <laughs> but let's say let's de- let's deconvert let's deconvert so you know the positional values now so yeah. this is 2 to the power uh, what is the value this is 2 to the power 0 1 2 3 4 5 yeah 2 to the power 5 so let's write uh, the values right so this is 2 to the power 5 Let's reduce the size and okay make it the 2 to the power 5 after that you will have 2 to the power 4 so then you have 2 to the power okay so so so, so. okay 2 to the power 5 then 2 to the power 4 see then 2 to the power 3 2 to the power 2 to the power 1 and 2 to the power 0 see these are the integer uh, integer things these are the integers sorry integer positional values yeah okay then the decimal positional values similar to this so you have to further reduce further reduce means you have to put like 2 to the power to the power minus 1 oh minus 2 minus 3 so this is the pattern okay so can you tell me the values related to that 2 to the power 5 is 32 2 to the power 4 is 16 okay 8 oh half of that 2, 2. half of that 1 half of that point uh, uh, 0.5 half of that point 25 25 half of that point 1 2 5 Right. Then you have to add all these. So all these, not all these, right? You have to add point five, point two five, point one two five, five. Then uh, you have seven. Then you have like five plus one. So what is the value? Five plus two plus one is eight. So altogether, that is point eight seven five. Point eight. This part you have to add. Not this. Not this. You have to add this one. You have to add seven. Four plus sixteen. That is twenty. Plus thirty two. Right. Plus thirty two is fifty two. Yeah. So when you reverse, you will get the value. Understood the method? Yes. Sir. Yeah. You can write down that. So how you convert the decimals? This is how you convert decimal. The uh, so basically when you have the integer value, when you have the integer. So you can separately convert the integer and separately convert the decimal. integer actually you use the traditional method of dividing the decimal point you use the multiplication method okay so quickly write down this you can try uh, the octal and hexadecimal also the same way right so that means you have to divide the numbers for an example 52 52 let's say let's divide it by um let's divide by Eight, and you will get the octal. So, how many eights are there? Fifty-two divided by eight means forty-eight. You have six. Six remaining. Six remaining two. Is it correct? Six remaining four. Correct or wrong? Which? Ah, uh, fifty-two eight. Yeah, fifty-two divided by six, and remainder will be four. Because forty-eight, you have six. Then. Uh, yeah, six yeah. and remaining before then zero and six. Yeah. Yes, remaining four and then the point decimal point point eight seven five. So what you have to do is you have to multiply that by eight. So what is the value when you multiply? You'll get eighty five forty and like five six one six four sixty and seven six is remaining eighteen to eight sixty four so one zero. This is the one you get now. Mm. Then, uh, so you get the decimal point as seven, and this is six four. So the answer is six four point seven in octal. Yeah. Even a, uh, and uh, that's a easy way, but that's a easy way. What is the easy way? If you have like, if you if you have the table with you, you can just start from the decimal point and write three by three. Three from here, three from here, 
and then start from the decimal point and the other side also you can write three. If at that you can take tick, three. You also three. So this three is six, this three is four, this three is seven. So it is 64.7. Understood? Yeah. So that is the uh, way, that is the easiest way of taking this octal. Because if you know the binary, then you are safe. So yeah. anyway, you should know the binary. That is compulsory. Should, you should know the binary. If you know the binary, then it's easy. Okay, so hexadecimal can take the same. Let's divide four by four. This four and this four, you can put lead in zeros to make it four. And uh, for this side, you can see uh, take a pad in zero. Because if you put a lead in zero, the value will change. Then you have to put a pad in zero. So then you, this is what the number is. Can you tell what is the hexadecimal value of this? Two, Two. sorry, three. Uh, Here it is one, one means three. One, zero, zero. Yes. Oh. Oh. One, 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 zero. Seven. One, 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 zero is 12. 12 means C. One, 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 zero, right? Yeah, one, 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 zero. Uh, okay. Two, yeah, it's 12. 2 plus, sorry, yeah, yeah, 2 plus 4 plus 8. Yeah, 14, right? Oh, one, sorry, one, one, 14, 14, 14. So, yeah, yeah I have, so that's E. 14, yes, not 12, it's 14. Yeah. It's E. Right, then the hexadecimal answer is 3, 4.8. Right, that is how you take, uh, yeah, that is how you take the values. Okay, okay. I think uh, now with that, Right. Okay, so that is the explanation. And uh, so, can you convert any number using this format now? Yes, sir. Right. So, next day I'll give you uh, so a few more. So, you have the decimal as well as uh, please write a few more. So, let's convert this one. To octal, so you have to convert to octal, hexa, and binary all three, right? Yeah. Octal, hexa, and binary all three. And also, uh, so I'll give you two only, right? So that is one thousand twenty three point Z uh, zero three two five. Zero to four, three to five. Zero one, sorry, zero one, uh, three one two five. Zero three one two five. Okay, so do this as a homework. Oh, uh, yes. let's try now, no? So why why we keep as a homework? So let's try now. Okay, sir. Let's do it. Yeah. You can just try because then I can give my feedback now itself. Will be confirmed. Yeah. Just do so, it. Uh, binary octal and hexa, right? Binary octal and hexa. All three. Take your time and do this. You can do with this within five minutes. Simple. Yeah. Uh, so when you like, uh, okay, so this point, I think I if you are getting a continuous decimal, so, so in elimination, eight. what you can do is you can just limit it to uh, maybe four or five digits and tell that this will continue. So if there's a pattern-like thing, if you are, there's a pattern repeating, you can tell this will be repeating this pattern. Or sometimes even pattern is not there. Then you have to tell, right, this is, uh, this is infinite. So not possible to completely convert this. This, this happens in the decimals. But in binaries, it's uh, so this uh, whole numbers, integers, it won't. Integers can be represented, but this continuous or the, this, what you call the flawed in point values, some values you will not be able to convert fully. That's why 
as i said that's why that digitizing issue is there when you digitize something so you will not get the perfect value but you will get get a close match you'll get a close match but not the perfect value yeah right so that is the challenge in the digital world okay just continue but, uh, to five six digits that's enough five six yeah, digits yeah. maximum six i right that's enough. that's more than enough Okay, so complete the second one also. Okay, uh, let's discuss quickly. Forty-five point seven three e because uh, still there are some areas to correct. So let's discuss forty-five divided by two is equal to twenty-two, and remaining will be one. You can continue the pattern. And twenty-two divided by two is uh, eleven, <coughs> and nothing remain. Mm, eleven by two is five, and one remain. Then five by two, five divided by two is a uh, two remain in one, and <coughs> two divided by two is one remain in zero. So the value will be. So here. Uh, it's one zero one one zero one. You got that, no? Yeah. So that is the uh, full, right? That is the uh, basically integer value. And point uh, <coughs> you don't write zero point six. So don't write like this. Eh? Seven six three. Then it's wrong. So just write the point format because beginning zero don't get it. So here also you are not getting the beginning one. Hatalis pa sirato dhan and so that mistake you have done earlier. But uh, so basically, so before dividing we don't know the full part. So just put point six point seven six three. Then multiply by two, and when you multiply you will get uh, three will be six and six will be twelve, two and this will be fourteen. Uh, and fourteen plus one fifteen one five one point five. Yes, two six. Is it correct? Is this the uh, one? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct or wrong? Yeah, correct. Yeah. Then again, multiply by two, and uh, so then mm -hmm. uh, so this five two six will be. One zero five. Yeah, thousand one point. Zero um, five two. Correct. Yeah. Multiply by two. So you have to consider about the the decimal point only. Right? This part only. So I'm highlighting this part. Then the this part will be converted. And then this part. So only these areas. And then zero five two will be zero point uh, zero. Sorry, zero point one. One zero four. So into two. Will be a uh, zero point two zero eight into two will be so that's why it's continuing by zero point uh, then uh, four into two is a uh, zero point eight three two into two is a uh, one point six. Six four correct. Yeah. So it's four six yeah one point six six four into two, uh, then uh, one point uh, eight, eight, eight two. So this is uh, eight and here twelve two is like six into two is twelve thirty three. Yeah. So and into two, and you'll get. Uh, so you can first yeah move right so it's not going to end. So you can see there's mm -hmm. no pattern and not going to end even. And eight will be all be six and then will be five six, and this will be six and this is zero. Okay, it's not going to end. So let's yeah. stop from here. Uh, mm -hmm. it seems uh, it's not going to end. So you can take from top to bottom, here to here, right? Because this this one is not considered. Then you have you can write. This has one one zero 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 one one zero. So this is continuing, not end. It's continuing, right? So then, yeah. uh, 
Okay, so you, once you find this, what is the uh, octal? Octal is five five points. Uh, this is octal. I think still do three. You can take three 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 six zero six is the octal. And what is so once you get the binary, the others easy. Okay, once oh, you get yeah. the binary, convert in others is nothing. Get in the others without dividing, you can get. So okay, so let's write the integer part only here. Right? Otherwise, it's confusing. So after the fractional part, let's write the number. Okay, the same thing you can take four by four, and this is now. Okay, you can take this one. No by nor in this one. This is two. This is twelve thirteen thirteen means D. Point. Uh, this is one one zero zero and C twelve is C, and then three. That is X R. Once you get the binary, you get the others. It's nothing. Mm. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay. Then go to the next one. Thousand twenty three. Sorry. We memor memorize that table. That. Yeah. One zero one six number. Okay. Can memorize. He was doing for long time. If you are, if you practice, you can remember. Oh, okay. If you practice, you can remember. So if you are doing this, keep doing this, keep doing this, you can do. Otherwise, in the exam, so what you have to do is when they give the rough paper, mm. write down this separately. Mm. Find out, write down the table separately. Then uh, so it would be advantage because in everywhere you can use this. Yeah. Okay, thousand twenty three. Thousand twenty three is one 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 one. I guess. Correct. Uh, thousand twenty. Ten months. Yeah, it's one one one. Yeah, ten months. Yeah. Because thousand twenty four. Thousand twenty four is two to the power ten. Mm. How I got this? Thousand twenty four is equal to two to the power ten. Agree? Yeah. It is two to the power ten. Okay. If it is two to the power ten, the value will be. So that is equal unto two to the power ten is equal unto one. Then ten zeros. One two three four five. One two three four five. This is two to the power ten. Okay. Just search. Yeah. This is two to the power zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That is two to the power ten. Yeah. That is so. So then that is in binary. So if you know that, so this is one less than it. One less than it means this is one and ten zeros. One less than it means ten ones. It's like thousand. One less than thousand is nine nine nine. Hmm. Ten thousand. One less than. Uh, That is nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Similar to that in binary, if you have one and ten zeros, one less than that means ten ones. That is the maximum. Yes. After ten ones, the next is uh, one and ten zeros, right? Yeah. <laughs> so that's how I found. But but this can be done in MCQ. But in essay paper or uh, structure, you have to show the steps, right? Yeah. Then uh, three one two five three one four two five. Let's calculate. That is our main focus. Uh, zero, three, one, two, five. So don't write this zero, right? Then it's wrong. Zero point no. Just write point zero three one two five. Then multiply by two. So after multiplying, you'll get uh, z uh, zero point zero six two five. Six two five. Sorry. Multiply by that uh, by ten. Then you'll get zero point one two five. Yeah. Multiply that by ten, uh, two, so you'll get zero point two five. Again, multiply by two, you'll get zero point five. Multiply by two, and you'll get one point zero. So this is how you convert the fractional part. So after converting the fractional part, you know you have to take from top to bottom. So that is the fractional because you have to take from here to here. Okay, the way that you have written in your answer script is like this. So you write, you just wrote this as. Um, okay, let me show why it's wrong. 
one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and one. So then what will happen? You know this one is point two, point five. If you write this one, mm. it is point five here. It's point five. The value is point five. Is it correct? No. If the value is point five, then you have not taken that. So I have not given point five. I have given three one two five. So that is zero 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 one. Then you can see this is point five. This is half of that point two five. This is half of that one two five. This is half of that zero point zero six two five. This is half of that zero point zero one zero 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 point zero three one two. Okay. Mm. So then uh, deconvert should give the same. So you can all so no need to send it to me. You can check the answer by yourself by deconverting. Yes. Understood. So because in the yeah. exam you can't wait uh, after writing. You can't wait till the <laughs> marking scheme comes. You have to yeah. verify that by yourself. How so? This uh, the beauty of this mathematics is you can verify your own answer. Yeah. After getting the answer, you can check. Okay, here one plus. One plus two is three. Three plus uh, four is seven. Seven plus eight is fifteen. Fifteen plus thirty-two is uh, sorry. Fifteen plus sixteen is thirty-one. Thirty-one plus thirty-two is sixty-three. Sixty-three plus uh, sixty-four is one two seven. One two seven plus one two eight is two five five. Two five five plus uh, one will uh, here. This is two five six will be uh, two five. That is five eleven. Five eleven plus five twelve. Is thousand twenty three. So that is quite difficult, but you can deconvert and see, mm. right? You can deconvert and see. The other hand, this way, this doubles. The other way, it will be half. Half of one will be point five. Half of that will be two five. Half of that will be one two five. Half of that will be zero six two five, and half of that will be zero three one two five. Actually, after doing that. Hmm, when you get something like this, you will know the answer. So that is another thing, right? So when you calculate, okay, let's say you got a some maths like this or some conversion like this, you have five eleven here. You know five eleven is one less than five twelve. Five twelve is uh, what? Five twelve is two to the power nine. There is one and yeah. zero nines. Then five eleven will zero. Uh, sorry, one and zero nines. Then five eleven will be see uh, one. Uh, sorry. Nine ones, nine ones. Yeah. Right. Then, if you have like something like this, okay, three one two five, you have like five three one two five. You know the answer now. How? Because you know three one two five is. So if you have done this now, zero 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 one. Zero. Then what is five three one two five? You have point five here. That's all. Additional mm -hmm. point five, you know. So try convert and see, and you will get five eleven means one 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 one, and this will be one zero 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 one. So just see the answer whether you get the same. Just calculate and see. You can think and write after some yeah. time because you know how this works. This is point yeah. five point five plus point zero three one. This one is not. This point five. Yeah, that one. This one is point five. No. The value of that position is point five. Ah, okay. Yes. Yeah, that's that not the final, point. no. But sorry, that's not the final, no. That's not the final for that. Yeah, answer. that's not the final. This is point yeah. five, and this one is point zero three one two five. If you add yeah. together, you will get that. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, the question is like, okay, okay. Yeah. If you add together, you'll get that. Okay. Uh, one, one, this one, one to octal is uh, just write in three by three. So this three, sorry, this three, this three, and this three. It's one seven seven seven. This three and add in zero here. So the value will be one seven 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 point zero two in octal. So just looking at the table. So mm. The table you can look it's one seven seven seven. So do you have the table? Yeah. Initially we had that. No? So these are the two tables. You can take a screenshot. Ah, okay. There's a pattern. No? 
zero one zero one zero one zero one. Then double zero double one double zero double one. Four zeros four ones four zeros four ones. Eight zeros eight ones. Here also the same. Zero one zero one zero one zero one. Double zero double one double zero double one four zeros four ones. That is octal. This is for hexa. Okay. Yeah. Take a screenshot. Yes, sir. Thank you. Right now, you know the conversion part and hexadecimal also. You can write the same in uh, same number if you want to convert that to hexadecimal. So let's say let's take four by four. This is f. This is f, and this is three, and this four will be. Zero and again adding four with here, then it is three ff point zero eight in hexa. If you want to cross check the answers, these are the answers. Mm. And so, how to convert this? So, this is f f one and one ff point eight eight. One f f point eight eight, so that is hexa. What is octal? Octal will be seven seven. Yeah, it's triple seven 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 point zero. Uh, sorry, four two. That is so here one f f point eight eight in hexa. Here this one is. Seven 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 point four two in octal. Okay. Right. Hope now we have done enough exercises, and now you can you know how to do deconvert, reconvert, all these things. And I'll anyway upload yeah. the video, then you can watch this again, again, and again, and polish up. In case if you miss something, if you cannot remember something, you can just watch the video and see it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, then. So next heading is a uh, very important thing. And uh, next heading is. Okay, we have done all this. Okay, so I think we just discussed the important of this in the beginning itself. So these images, so what used by sounds, I have ex explained this, right? Everything uses binary and this is, uh, for an example, this is B, you can see these ones. So let's say the ones are the bulbs which are lighten up. Ones are the bulbs which are lighten up and zeros are the bulbs which are actually off. And you can see letter D here. So in mathematics, uh, you can take inverse of this matrix, one divided by T or transpose matrix. When you take transpose matrix, what you do basically, these horizontal things you write vertically. Six zeros, six ones. Seven zeros, seven ones. Eight zeros, zero. Zero, four ones, zero. Then double zero, one zero, one. Double zero, one zero, one, bottom. Double zero, one zero, one again. The next one is zero four zeros one. Sorry, zero four ones zero. Next one is all zeros. If you write that and color, you can see this. It is rotated. Mm. Understood? Yes, sir. Yeah. So these mathematical operations are actually used to convert uh, these matrices. So that's why this representation is very important. And next, way, next thing is like how to get the. So this is how you get the transpose matrix. And let's say you have like a uh, few bulbs. So three bulbs, RGB. And you can anyway, so maybe using these three bulbs, if all three bulbs are on, you can say it's white. So this is 110 is yellow. Likewise, you can assign a color code. So then if you multiply this by three integer, that is 0, 1, 1, all bits will become three. All ones will become three, but all zeros will remain zero. So that means there is basically change in the color. Right? This is how change in color happens. Understood or not? Yeah. Right. 
okay that's why these number systems are very important even in represented in music representing signals representing audio representing video it's very 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 important and so there are few ways so one is character representation so why this representing representing means you use something instead of some other thing you use something in edit in actually so if for example so there's a parents meeting where you cannot go because you are sick then your parent can go there we we tell parents is parent is representing you parent is representing you so that's what we call so similar to that so in so if it is very difficult to do maths always for an example you know everything is a binary for computer everything is a binary but so let's say let's give letter a let's give letter a computer things okay what is the binary of letter a so that's the computational thinking computer will think okay i got this symbol what is binary of this symbol it's thinking like that so it is quite difficult to divide at the so assign a number divide it and get the binary it's kind of difficult thing therefore we have some standards that means pre computed tables similar to that octal and hexadecimal tables we have some pre computed tables okay yeah. so this is one of the table used by ibm international business machines earlier days that is called bcd binary coded decimal so 0 to 9 numbers were represented by a pre computed code so this is the pre computed code so if you get 793 what is the value 793 7 means 0 311 0311 is the sum then 9 means 1001 that is 9 what is 3 double zero double one. so but you don't write here you don't write this is binary right because that is wrong is it a way of converting binary no this is not a way of converting binary this is representation because decimal cannot be converted by writing like this no because decimal you have to divide na pigena gatte we learn that decimal to binary you have to divide it is not easy enough but computers don't like that therefore similar to you computers don't like so therefore it uses pre computed table that is not to convert that is to represent you so someone cannot convert you to your mother can you convert no mechanism in the world no mechanism in the world to convert you to your mother but still your mother can represent you yeah right this is the thing this is not conversion this is called representation that's why i brought the heading as character representative it's not character converting right it's not calculating it's representative mm. so representation is done by looking at the table okay 1090 1098 one means 3001 0 means four zeros 9 means 1001 and 8 means 1000 so that is what absolute is okay can you write this yeah so this part only you have to write the other other things you don't need right only write the character representation and this part, the highlighted area others i will allow to you to take screenshots uh okay so this can represent the bcd can represent only numbers bcd can represent only numbers but not the um, it cannot represent uh, basically it cannot represent letters because it has only four digits four digits means maximum number of characters what is the maximum number of characters it can represent if there are four digits yes what is the maximum four digits four digits so you have four digits here 1 2 3 4 9 no yeah this is 9 but so it can go further no theoretically what is the maximum 9999 can we go so this is binary can't go for 9999 9999 yeah, no no, no it's it's decimal no so just think about binary What is the binary maximum? It is one 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 one, right? 
the minor maximum is one 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 one. Oh, isn't that so? Yeah. Right. So, the, what is the maximum number of characters you get? You can represent then using these binary codes. So, this in understand the intention. Intention is to the computers cannot understand other number systems because it the, mm -hmm. those lights, wires, all these can represent uh, this on-off status. That means two status. So that is the idea. Get that clearly, right? Otherwise, uh, you are in trouble. Don't just think this as a theory lesson or don't just think, think as a syllabus lesson in the syllabus. Yeah. Understand why we need that. Why we need that? Because computers cannot understand any other bullshit. Computers cannot understand any other thing. It can understand or no. Only two status. So that is what computer is. So our intention is to write our numbers in two state numbers. These are two state numbers. These are two state binary or two state numbers. This is not binary, but two state numbers. It has ones and zeros only. Okay. So if you yeah. have four digits, so what is the maximum amount of digits? What are the, so what is the amount of digit that you can represent? Four digits. So here itself, you have 10 digits. Zero to nine yeah. means 10 digits are there. So, but, it, but what is the maximum? Actual maximum is not 10, no. It can go more than 10, no. Then mm. how much? How, how many? How many characters you can represent? Yes, all together. Mm. How many characters you can represent? Yes. Uh, 16. 16, yeah, not 15, right? 15, so uh, that's including it's, it's 16. So we learn in the chart now. So that, that's what I'm asking. Uh, so that is another way of asking the question. So if you have four digits, how many characters? Four digits means altogether 16 values. So maximum that BCD can go for 16. That is not enough to represent letters because 16 is yeah. not enough. Right? Yeah. In the English alphabet also 26 letters are there. 26 capital, 26 simple. So altogether 52. So it cannot be represented using BCD. So therefore, they have introduced another method. So this one, I think better you write down. So BCD has four digits. Therefore, it can represent only 16 uh, symbols. And that is taken by two to the power four. That is the mathematic. The maths behind that. So it can represent two to the power 16 symbols, two to the power four symbols. So that is the maximum. Therefore, so it was required to find another way because not only numbers, characters are also there. Not only numbers, the characters mm -hmm. are also there. That's why FZD was introduced. This is actually FZD or extended binary coded decimal interchange code. FZD. It has FZD has uh, six, uh, sorry. It has uh, altogether eight digits. FZD has eight digits. So how many representations? Eight digits. Extended binary code or decimal interchange code has eight digits. Therefore, it can represent. Yes, two to the power. Uh, two to the power eight means. Uh, sixteen. No. Sixty. Two to the power eight. Two into 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 two. Uh, what is that value? 256. 256. So then, uh, so here, this is how. So this side 16, this side 16, it's 16 into 16 is 256. This is how those two. Yeah, blank two spaces. Yes. Blank spaces of the right? Yeah, there are some, some values are blank. So oh. some characters, you don't have value. So letter A, letter A here is basically 1000. Zero, zero, zero. 
zero 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 one because uh, eight no metan eight ne yeah. eight is one zero zero ah yeah one zero zero and this and one this one. side one so yeah. example I can say example okay. a is equal to one zero 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 one the other hand you can say it is eighty one in hexadecimal here eighty mm. one in hexa so this is in hexa right eighty one 82 is B, 83 is C, 84 is D, 85 is, that is how it represents. Okay, yeah. So you can take a screenshot. So this part, I think you can write, but mm -hmm. this, this table, you can take a screenshot. So better write this part because this is the key point. No? You have to remember these things. Yeah. Right, uh, next thing here. So, as I said, the letter A is the same thing, right? And uh, so then uh, there was another competitor, actually, another alternative to this system that is called ASCII, American mm -hmm. Standard Port for Information Interchange. So, I think you heard of this ASCII. Yeah, yeah, ASCII, yeah. Uh -huh. So, that is also a representation method. So, why? So, now you know why representation, right? Representation is why is there? Because uh, computers don't like to divide. So it want a table. <laughs> it always want to refer yeah. to table and get the value from this table. So that's easy, you know? Mm. So if letter A is there, for an example here, capital letter A. A is 100. Yes. 100. Yeah. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 65 in decimal. And in octal, it is uh, 4 here. This is one then it is 41 in octal sorry in uh, sorry in hexadecimal 41 yeah 41 in hexadecimal yes so if you write like this here four and one 41 uh, yeah, yeah. 65 then in decimal 65 in decimal 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 means be our format so that is one uh one plus uh, 2 is no, 4, no, 8, 16, 32, 64. 64 plus 1, uh, when you add 65. You have to calculate that, right? Yes. Decimal, you have to calculate. Decimal to any number, you have to calculate. But in between this octal, hexadecimal and binary, no calculations. Okay. But decim if decimal is there, you need to calculate. Yeah. So how this is calculated, you can tell 64 plus one that is the calculation so 41 you can easily write no need to calculate mm. okay uh, so this american standard code for information interchange has seven bits right seven bits means seven, two bits. Power seven symbols one to eight but there's another one that is called extended ascii esk or extended ascii because uh, two five six they think so one two eight they, they think it's not enough Therefore, extended ASCII was used, and that is eight bits. Eight bits means again two, five, six characters were possible. That is uh, the same time though IBM these people were using EBCDIC and the same similar competitor. That is ASCII. ASCII was more popular. Oh. Then what is RU? Okay. Sorry. ASCII and USCII. US ASCII is the... US ASCII. Uh, United States. US, US. United States. ASCII. Extended yeah. ASCII. Oh, okay, extra bit. Yeah, extra bit added. Latin characters are also in it. Mm. Okay, take on the screenshot of this. I don't want it to. No need to write the table, right? No need, because the, in the exam, they were tasked. Okay. But the other part you have to remember, right? Yeah. Other part means, so, so there are two more I couldn't mention. So the next one was Unicode. The idea is to give a unique code. Unique code. Unique code, yeah. Unique code. That is Unicode. Because uh, even though ASCII, ESCII, EBCD, they support English alphabet only. So what about mm -hmm. other letters? Arabic, uh, what about Sinhala, what about Tamil? 
chinese mandarin japanese you need all those characters also no yeah therefore so here unicode was introduced that is 16 bit version which can represent around 65536 characters that is more than enough right <laughs> and there's another version of unicode this is called third uh, 32 bit unicode so actually that has this is a summary i'm not going to give a big note 32 bit unicode and that has uh, 32 bits 2 to the power 32 which is closer to 4 billion so let's take mm. the exact value and that is uh, 2 to the power 32 and that is 4 billion this is the value more than enough i think this number of characters possible with this right so mm. there is a big 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 one 32 bit unicode so now we are using this unicode so the advantage is you can use a single font to write everything yeah for an example if i am using a single uh, here i'm using uh, let's say i'm using uh, is called a proper unicode one then i can just write single a even hello yeah but you can you can see the font you can put uh, the same font right it's not going to change the, if you use same font it's not going to change the letters so single font can be embedded and send otherwise if you write a letter with single tri language single english and tamil you have to embed all three fonts and send different parts you have to convert using different fonts that is headache Mm. but if you write in unicode font so then every letter even tanglish you can write so all these are possible yeah so there are so one you can use yeah this one yeah you have all these this tanglish one this so you can add this part also without any this part and hello and you can even add the single letter everything together you can put a one font no changes you can see all three are there preserved even you use one font nothing is going to change so that is what we want okay yeah right so please take a screenshot of this now ebzidic and ascii and unicode extended ascii and unicode big indian or the 32 bit version okay sir right now you know the character representation and next we can move to the uh integer represented integers okay unlike the character representation integers right unlike the character representation integers need some value why because integers are need to calculate so this is character represent if it is a letter so if it is a letter you can represent in this way numbers can be represented two ways no telephone number is it taken for calculations Telephone numbers. Hello. Uh, I was talking with my mic off. Oh, uh, telephone numbers. Is it taken for calculations? No, sir. No. So that is a character. But what about no. uh, weight, height? Those are also characters, but those are taken for calculations. Calculations. Right. If characters are not taken for the calculation, you can represent in ASCII or any other thing or B C D F C D. That is okay. But if characters are taken for calculations, then you have to re uh, represent that using a positive negative integers. Yes. Sir. Right. And also, if numbers are in floating point, you have another method that was there in the previous syllabus but not in the new syllabus. That floating point representation. 
Mm. Right. Okay. So then there are three basic methods to write this. So the first method is called sign and magnitude. So no need to write the English one. Uh, sorry, single one. Please write the English one. Representing integers is the topic. That is our new topic. Please write that topic. Then write, uh, there are three basic methods to do this. There are three met basic methods to do this. And the first method out of that is equal sign and magnitude. Sign and magnitude. And let's learn how it's represented. First write down, then let's learn. Okay. So like okay. it's so, if it's one, it's uh, negative, and it's, if it's zero, it's uh, positive. Yes. Uh, what happens? So if it's positive integers, the leftmost digit will make will make it zero for the positives. For the negative, the leftmost digit is one. So that's how we make the so maintain the. That's how we maintain the uh, negative positiveness of the. Because we can't send signs in the wires, no. We can't represent signs. Yeah. We don't have a method to send signs in the wires. Therefore, we used to represent positives by zeros and negatives by one. And then the value is actually converted to the binary. Because why we need to convert? Why we can't represent simply? This is maths. So if you use representation here, you will get wrong. You will, it will result wrong calculations. That's why you have to convert. So no way other than dividing. So you have to use previous method, divide and write it. So And there is a way. So there will be a defined register size or the size will be given. Otherwise, you don't know how to slice these bits mm. because bits will come in order. So it's continuously coming through wires. You have to slice the bits. No, You have to slice the bits and get the Otherwise, you don't know. So, for an example, okay, so this is a bit sequence. So, it's coming in the bias. If you don't know how to slice this, so then what will happen? You can't read this. You have to slice. Slice means you have to take like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, the first slice, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, the second slice, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, next slice, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, next slice, one, two, three, four, one, six. Likewise, you have to slice. Mm. Now you know so how many information what are the information came through the wire. So that's why register size is required because that's the way that's the mechanism of slicing. Because these wires, you can't tell that now the first digit came okay by second digit came. Likewise, it's not mentioning. So wires will continuously send that signal. And uh, what will happen? The computer will slice it according to the register. You know that uh, there are 32 bit 32 bit machines, 64 bit machines. Yeah. Uh, so that is basically a register size. 32 bit okay. machines are taking like 32 bits instructions. So they okay. will slice that and 30, 32 by 32 and protect the processor. So there are 64 bit machines. They are taking 64 bit instructions, slicing 64 by 64 and taking to the processor, which is faster. Yeah, as it before. 64 will obviously it's faster. The next version will be on 1 to 8. Uh, 1 to 8 will be not there, right? It seems I didn't heard of that. So, but it should come no? in near future. It should come yeah. because the next way of speed in our face uh, next. Uh, so it's always double now. Next, mm. the next expectancy will be 1 to 8. So maybe yeah. near future, maybe in future. So let, you can Google it and see. So, because I, mm -hmm. I just got the idea with the. Why don't we have one to eight? Mm. One to eight bit. Oh, it seems. Hmm. It's there. It's there, but uh, I'm not sure whether application is there. Mm. IBM. Hmm. IBM system 370. Mm. There are currently no mainstream general purpose computer built to operate one to eight in This is the number of processors do have the specialized way to operate one to eight. This one for simple one to eight bit computers you thought in one. So modern CPU features single instruction, multiple data. So maybe, yeah. So there are ways 
to do that but yeah. directly directly no one to eight still not yeah mm, still not there are ways there are ways so anyways so these are the architectures initially the 8 bit architecture was there then 16 bit architecture was there then 32 bit was 32. there now actually 64 bit in the uh, dominance market. in the popular yeah. market okay so that is what basically that's why this register is maintained right okay now you know why okay positive 10 and negative 10 the other way minus but to make sure the register size the leading zeros will be used here 1010 zero, zero is the value but leading zeros can be used to keep it 8 8 bit to fill it so okay uh, so small thing i'll give a small exercise so try this mm. Okay, the example. Uh, so represent 34, 100 and minus 127 plus 127 and zero using SNN. So write down the question and try it along. That's why I didn't ask you to write that. So you have to do this okay. alone. So I can't see the question. You can't see the stream. No, I can't. Where is the question? Sorry? The question? Uh, question is this the highlighted one represent ah, okay. 34 minus 128 plus 127 and zero using SNA sign and magnitude mm. and you have to consider the register size as register size eight okay. write the question and do this quickly Convert, yeah, convert to SNM, sign and magnitude, sign and magnitude, and calculate this one, this one, this one, and this one. First one, the second one is this, third one is this, and fourth one is this. So please. Yeah, so why is the plus minus is there directly we can directly if you give a number we can it's how are gonna come either plus or minus sorry so if you give 37 instead of mm -hmm. putting that plus in that yeah, you can write 37 that's okay so but uh, here this focuses on sign that's why i give it plus you can put 37 minus 12 that is also okay My, but minus numbers you have to write minus no uh, and no, like however, when you are like, if you do, if you find the twelve, however, if it, if it's gonna come zero and it's minus twelve, it it will be uh plus twelve now. How come there? No, now we have given minus twelve, right? Yes. So if for twelve. Uh, So minus 12 remain minus 12. It's not going to become plus. 37 yeah. minus 12, the answer is, you know, 5 and 25 is the answer. 37 oh, minus yeah. 37 minus 12 will be 949 minus 49 is the answer. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Right? If both are oh, minus, yeah. the minus will be exact. That means uh, minus will be minus amount will be high and uh, then we have to minus this have to do this calculation then only we have to find the no uh, no, no, the... no first first convert this to the relevant first convert so see this one example the first one first convert this 37 37 is you know the value of 37 37 is uh, so you have to convert that zero this is plus no this is a positive number this is how plus 37 written 1001. Zero, zero, one, zero, one. Then mm. minus 12 is minus no. This is 1. Mm. Then this is 12. 1, 1, double, 0 is 12. Then what you have to do from the first number, you have to subtract the second number. 1 minus 0 is 1. 0 minus 0 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 minus 1. You can't do that. You have to bring a 1 from the beginning. So again, you know, you have to bring here. And then this will become two. From two, you have to take one. Then 
uh, again this will become 2 2 minus 1 is 1 here the remaining one will be there binary subtraction oh. right so that method you have to apply so then here it's one no uh here, here. One? Uh, over here it's one right no oh, no zero zero is zero right zero minus zero is zero then one okay This you have to think as a whole because from zero you can't subtract one. No? Then you have to subtract mm -hmm. from one zero zero. One zero zero means four. Four minus one is three. That is one one. Yeah. Right. Okay, so we have to uh, do this like a table. All these questions. No need to do this as a table for explanation purpose. I did as a table. Ah, okay. Just do this. Nothing. Just do this as a yeah. general calculation. No need to do as a table. I just. For the explanation purpose only, I did table for me, just to show how numbers subtracted. Uh, so then can you scroll up a bit? Okay, uh, stop. Uh, this one, then we have to do it more, right? Then like here, I means it will be zero over here. Then zero, 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 and their last one. Repeat, please. Uh, this one is there, right? This question. Which question? I mean, this uh, this answer. Yes, that is yes. the answer for the so question. It will come uh, like this, right? So one and one is going to be zero. Then again, one and one, then it's going to be zero. The same way zero and the final is going to be one and zero. It's going to be one. It's going to be one and zero, 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 zero. You when you want to add this, if you want to add these numbers. No, the table method. If you're doing with this. Right. Oh, yeah. That will become yes, yeah, so one plus one. So not one plus one. You have to actually minus this no. One minus one. One minus one is zero. One minus one is zero. One minus one is zero. One minus you have to write the positive one on the top. Positive one first, then the negative one. Then one minus one. And for this question, what should we do this? Which question? This down, down, convert S and M. Convert this to sine and magnitude. You have to convert all these numbers to sine and magnitude. Then the calculation should happen. Ah, okay. 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 Nothing to deal with the first one. First, these are some examples. You are, I asked you to represent the numbers. No? Mm. Representing these are the answers. So this is more than representing. You have to represent as well as calculate. Yeah. Okay, sir. Two things are there. Okay. Do this as a homework. So, so, so this and this will be the same now. Ah, oh, no, right? So plus 37 minus 12 no, no, and minus all are different. So all are different from each other. Oh. Okay, so just do this as a homework and next day we'll discuss uh, next week actually. Um, I will not be able to do the class this year because of this new year thing. Oh. Right? Uh, but week after next week we'll do the class, right? Oh, okay. Okay. Then have a nice day. Bye. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye.